Attention all video gaming YouTubers! If there is one keyword that you want to keep an eye on in 2019, it's this. Google Stadia. And here's why. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com Hello, I'm Rob and welcome to VidIQ, the YouTube tool and channel that aims to educate you on your YouTube journey. And today I want to educate you on why Google Stadia might be super important for you as a video gamer on YouTube. First, let me try and summarize what Stadia is. It is a new type of gaming streaming platform. It doesn't require any new technology and is available on virtually any technology already in your house, whether it be a laptop, a mobile device, even a Chromecast. And what this will allow you to do is play AAA games games with super intense graphics at high resolution over the internet. Yes, this is Google's answer to cloud-based gaming. Other advantages include not needing a new game controller, although there is one available, and you can access these games seamlessly. For example, if you're watching a YouTube video which has an advert for a video game, you can literally click on the play now and start playing that game instantly and transfer it to another device instantly starting off from where you left it on the other device. This sounds like the future of video gaming. Now that's quite a bold statement and it may turn out not to be true. However, if Google Stadia does become a major player in the video game market, you want to be there when it kicks off, right? Until yesterday, Stadia was a word more associated with sporting venues. Now it's part of gaming culture and already YouTube searches are being flooded by everybody giving their opinions on the new gaming platform. It's why a channel with a little over 5,000 subscribers is currently competing with the big boys ranking number 4 for this search term. When we talk about riding the wave of a trend, this is exactly what we mean. This is your very small window of opportunity to establish yourself as an authority on the subject. It's why we're making this video after all. Now by the time you see this video, it may already be too late to give your take on Google Stadia. The window of opportunity may have passed, but you also want to strategize evergreen content. For example, one video I can think of right now is everything you need to know about Google Stadia before it's released. And then when the service is launched, you want to be the first person to do tutorials. Imagine that at the top of the search terms, how to use Google Stadia, a beginner's guide. That could sit there for years and years bringing in views for your channel. I'm telling you now, the most common questions that are going to be asked about Google Stadia, a cloud-based gaming service are, what devices can I use Google Stadia on? What controllers can I use on Google Stadia? How to reduce lag on Google Stadia? That is gonna be a big one. What games are available on Google Stadia? How to play Google Stadia on an iPhone? Cause I bet you that will be really difficult for some weird reason. How to play Google Stadia on a TV? I could think up of a Another 20 ideas all about this product and it's not even launched yet. In fact, let's do a little bit of a friendly wager here. I bet by this time next year, somebody is going to have a video with over 100,000 views that is titled how to use a PlayStation 4 controller on Google Stadia or words to that effect. Because to be honest, I want to know how to do that. And I imagine this is what the thumbnail might look like. If you take one piece of advice away from this video, it is this. If you think Google Stadia is going to be important to you and most importantly your audience, start your research, make videos, get your foot in the door. This is your opportunity. But there's also something else to consider through all of this. Stadia is a Google product and so is YouTube. Yes. YouTube is integrated into Stadia. Let's start with Crowdplay. This allows a video creator to live stream a game through YouTube and create a lobby where live stream viewers can actually join the game that is being played. Imagine that, joining Ninja to play Fortnite or the Diamond Minecart to play Minecraft. It's real-time YouTube collaboration. In theory, this sounds amazing. In theory, of course. We don't know what games will be supported just yet, and I can't imagine Minecraft a Microsoft game being one of them. Another feature goes by the name of State Share. This is where a player can reach a certain part in the game, whether it be a big boss or a scary part in a horror game, and then share that state through a link on YouTube, for example, for other gamers to play and experience. To be honest, in the real world, I have no idea how that's going to work, but it sounds exciting. If we step back and look at Stadia as a whole, there are still a lot of unanswered questions. We don't know what games are going to be available for it. We don't know how payment's going to work. Is it per game or on a subscription-based service? 
and we don't know the release date yet. Google are going to reconnect with the community in summer to let us know more about that. But as a video creator, you have no excuses. You know it's coming, you should be preparing for it. It could be a revolution in the gaming industry. And I say could be because it could also be a complete flop like Google+. Plus. Whatever the final outcome, remember this. To infinity and the... Oh, hang on, that's a Toy Story 4 trailer reaction video.